but it's uh, when you start to think about this in more detail. So this is going to be a kind of a common theme. Um, so like uh, the whole idea of uh, whole idea of a structure of atom. That's a question that you know, 200 years ago, people 200? No, sorry, 200. Yeah, 200 years ago, people didn't even have a way to ask this question. Like uh, these elements were the best that they could do, and to go into structure of what makes up the elements, that's an unponderable question. But with uh, these discoveries we are able to actually ask the question, what makes up? So how does this electron make up the atom, which is the particle of the element? And the tantalizing thing is that as you look at this, you have an explanation that you think will fit, but somebody comes along and pokes a hole in this nice, beautiful theory. And let me point out that hole. And it's actually something you have seen before. So, it's uh, this thing about dipole radiation, right? I've shown you this simulation before, right? Um, can I turn this into negative charge? I guess I can't. So, all right, so um, let me just say this is, well, so this is, um, if this was negative, it would be like the electron in this orbit here. Well, but right now it's not in orbit. Let me put it in an orbit. I think I have a preset here for putting in a circle. So if I put it in circular orbit, what do I get? Electromagnetic waves. I have electromagnetic waves, right? Okay. Um, what does electromagnetic wave have? That could be troublesome for me. It will radiate energy. Waves carry away energy. So if you have electromagnetic wave, that means there's energy coming out of here. This electron in orbit, it has some amount of total mechanical energy. That's how it stays in orbit. If, so from the laws of electricity, what, so having said all this picture, what you do not predict is that as this is going in circle, it should also be emitting electromagnetic wave, which will carry away energy. And you, people have seen this, well, okay, not back then, People today have seen what happens when things in orbit lose energy, maybe with the friction or whatever, they lose orbit. So over time, this would uh, fall into the nucleus. Okay? So now he, at this point, the only defense you might have, oh, maybe this whole process takes uh, such a long time that, um, that, you know, that maybe it decays, but the orbital decay will take uh, millions of years. That's why we haven't seen it. Somebody did the uh, estimate, and I think it, according to that estimate, the amount of time in which this will happen is around um, 10 to minus 10 seconds or so. I don't remember the exact number, but it's a fantastically small number. So that's uh, where this uh, name that I'm giving comes from that this is the question of stability of a hydrogen atom. And sort of like with the black body radiation, it's not really a failure of um, experiment. Like we don't actually have hydrogen atoms that's imploding all the time around us. That doesn't happen. But the uh, uh, crisis here is of theory. We have something that has been around us for a very long time. And if you're just trying to simply describe it um, like by characterizing it, then we would have been fine. But this is what I mean by tantalizing. It feels like we have all the pieces to be able to give a very fundamental description of this, except when we try it, it doesn't work. We have this little hole that's uh, giving us unreasonable prediction that's just not going to work. 